Hello everyone, this is Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. Um, so this is an unplanned reading, um, but I've just read the news regarding Manifet um, and the plea deal falling apart. Um, my inclination was to wait and see, uh, you know, what, what has happened here, how is it unfolding. We don't know what he has or what he hasn't shared with Moolah. We don't know why the plea bargain has broken down other than that he's uh, lied. Uh, and obviously if you're lying, you're withholding information. The question is what is he withholding and why? Um, now, I think the significant thing here before I pull any cards is that he's actually already pled guilty to conspiracy, which means there, that a conspiracy occurred. Now, Manifet's saying that he has shared uh, and he has been forthright with Moolah. Um, so, I, I mean, my analytical mind would say there are a couple of options here. Uh, one, that uh, he has shared information but has held out on some critical information. Um, and... But it's, an, it's a, sort of an unacceptable risk to take, given that he's pled guilty, um, unless he knows that, that uh, Trump or uh, Trump might pardon him, or that some DOJ process under Matt Whitaker might unfold. Now, I guess the truth lies going in going back to what Donald Trump has been doing in the last few weeks, and he's been gaslighting the Mueller investigation. We all know that that's because uh, you know he he wants to portray Mueller in 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 a poor light, but he's actually been saying that they've been shouting at people, they were out of control, the investigation is a mess. He's been saying that sort of thing. Now, with Manafort sort of, you know, butting heads with Mueller and now this collapse of the plea deal. That would say that Donald Trump is trying to betray the Mueller investigation, trying to take public confidence away from the Mueller investigation and paint it as a witch hunt. Now, if that's the case, Manafort has, uh, has deliberately held out off because he thinks that he's going to get a, uh, a pardon from Trump. It's as simple as that. Um, the other thought that came to my mind was that Mueller is a very crafty operator um, and always know, is known to be one, two, three steps ahead of the game. So I, my other inclination is that there's more to this than meets the eye, that behind the scenes um, something else is going on. Um, so it's a kind of a wait and see, wait and see there. Um, now I've, I've had people say that, uh, Mueller doesn't need, uh, Manifet. He's already got enough evidence for the indictments that are already sealed at the moment in, I think it's the DC court, um. But obviously Manifet was important to him uh, in relation to some key events there um, or perhaps in relation to, to Trump himself, okay? So it might have been that Manifet had some kind of information to give regarding Trump himself. These are matters that, uh, that I don't think anyone's going to know, but it is going to be provoke a constitutional crisis, I think, if uh, if Trump moves to pardon Manafort, given that he's pled guilty to conspiracy. Okay, so that's really the bottom line here, isn't it? So with that, I've formulated some questions. Why has the plea deal collapsed? What is Manafort trying to hide? Has someone got to him and will Trump pardon him? So uh, why has the plea deal collapsed? Let's just go to that uh, to that question. Why has the plea deal collapsed? I mean, has it been a setup all along? I don't think Mueller would have uh, allowed himself to be taken in like that. So my feeling is this is this has been a reasonably late uh, a late uh, happening, if you like. Um, potentially uh, could be tied into Trump firing uh, sessions and installing Whitaker there and having grounds then for Whitaker to disband the Mueller uh, investigation.
Okay, or at the very least cast uh, doubt on Moolah's report as it being a witch hunt uh, and trying to force people to lie to get evidence. That's kind of where it's going, isn't it? So why did the Manifet uh, plea deal, what's Manifet trying to hide? Why did the Manifet plea deal collapse? And what is Manifet trying to hide? Whoa. All right, so we've got something dropping down here. I'll, I'll bring the, the screen down here so we can do the reading. Okay, so straight away we've got the uh, the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles is around um, it's around gifts and it's around friendships and partnerships, and it's a re re around reunions. Is this manifest, re you know, reuniting with Trump? Is that what it's there for? Okay, the Page of Rods comes forward in the present, and there is some secrecy attached to this card. The face is hidden, um, and, uh, and you know, there is this idea that uh, there's this keeping, keeping secrets, really, or keeping things to themselves, not wanting to give away too much. Um, it's also the card of a new project, okay, so it's or a new idea. So it's almost like, Manifet has reunited potentially with Trump, uh, and there has been this plan then uh, to uh, to 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 really provoke this now the end of the plea bargaining. And his challenge, Manifet's challenge, was uh, the two, the the Eight of Swords, which is indeed you know imprisonment. Okay, so that was his you know the the challenge for him um, in in you know, why he may have, why the plea deal may have collapsed. So that it's sort of starting to suggest that he was promised something there um, to avoid imprisonment. And then we have the page of swords coming forward as the final e outcome. Okay, and this uh, this is the... Um, it's the, pry it's the prying open of matters to reveal the truth. Okay, so this is suggesting that whatever is occurring at the moment, it's not going to stop um, Moolah because there is still this prying open um, to get to the, the truth. Uh, it's also the card of spies as well. Uh, and um, it could be that, you know, as I said, Moolah's always two steps uh, in front of everyone. It could be that in some way this is a strategic, this is, there is some strategic, uh, I guess, benefit or opportunity here with with this what Manifet has done. Um, but it is suggesting that the truth, at the very least, viewers, it's suggesting the truth will come out uh, in time. So this um, reuniting, the Six of Pentacles, um, reuniting uh, with with perhaps Manifet, perhaps uh, reuniting with with Trump and Trump's colleagues, perhaps with Russia, um, the Knight of Swords comes forward. And this is uh, actually um, freedom. Okay, so again, it's it's kind of saying he was promised something. Um, and the Ten of Cups, you know, mirroring the Page of Wands, which is the keeping of secrets. This is the family card, okay? So this is... Uh, you know, I guess again saying that um, that Manifet, uh, in doing what he's done, may have been promised a, a pardon so that he can reunite with his family. It might have also uh, been. Uh, we have no idea what's going on, viewers. Here, we we don't know. I'll caution everyone here about the depths of um, seriousness that is surrounding this situation, and also the uh, the. The, I don't underestimate the Russian KGB at all. So it could be that he was told that uh, his family would be safe if he did this. We don't know who's gotten to him, if indeed they have. Now, the Eight of Swords, which is his challenge, it is his family, okay? that's He's done this. We asked why has the plea deal collapsed. He's done this for his family, okay, for those that he loves. Mm. I'm still getting that there's more to with to this than meets the eye. 
uh, and that the truth will come out in time. And mirroring that truth coming out in time is the two of um, pentacles. And that's saying that there are multiple forces weighing on this. There are multiple options. There are multiple cho uh, choices. And it's all that, also the card of multitasking. So tr juggling two things at the same time. So my intuition goes back to Muller and his investigation team and that they are always ahead of the game. So I, I guess we'll, we'll leave that there. Uh, I think there's something around that. It's not clear to me what yet. So mirroring this freedom, Manafort wanted his freedom, is this uh, Five of Rods. And, of course, we can see by this card it is the battle card. Um, it is uh, challenges and it is obstacles um, and it also is rivalries as well. So uh, he had some pretty stiff op opposition, you know, he, he had the weight of, uh, of the situation he was in um, has been, is, is, is quite evident in that card. Um, and the Two of Cups comes forward again mirroring he's done a deal with someone, okay? This is the uh, the proposal and the partnerships. So why? We go back to our question, why did the plea deal collapse? He's done some sort of deal. And what's challenging him is justice, okay? So by no, no means do we uh, think that this is, um, he's got to get out of jail free card he definitely hasn't to me this is more uh, more of a desperate desperate move and of course mirroring the page of swords of course we'd have the queen of swords which is this uh, this again truth telling and it is telling the truth with confidence and self assurance so this is suggesting to me uh, that uh, this latest um, episode uh, is not going to, to um, hurt the Mueller probe. The truth is still coming forward. There is more to it than what we know um, in relation to what information he has given up and what he hasn't. Uh, Mueller has already got those indictments there. Um, so what Manafort was giving up potentially had something to do beyond those beyond those indictments potentially had something to do with Trump and that's why there, it has been fought so so hard now I saw in my reading the other day that he had given up some kind of financial um, some kind of something to do some kind of transaction how the money might have been distributed um, and that could have been uh, could have been valuable to any case that Mueller might have been bringing against against Trump. He still may have given up that information. I have no idea, uh, really, um, what what is what really what is the fine detail. What's the fine print here? And I think that's yet to be revealed. We do know that the cards are indicating that he has um, perhaps reunited with. Uh, his colleagues of the past, his co-conspirators, shall we call them, um, and that he's done it for his freedom to, uh, to it's a, you know, avoiding uh, jail, a get out of jail card free, that sort of thing, and for his family could also be um, to keep his family safe from the likes of uh, the KGB and their agents. However, what this reading is also showing is that Mueller will be victorious, and indeed that's what my reading showed yesterday. So take a deep breath, everyone. Take a deep breath. This was never going to be easy. Um, and there are going to be many twists and turns before it's done, uh, and there's going to be many things hidden and many things revealed in time. So uh, I think the takeaway message from that reading is that Mueller will still be, will still prevail. Uh, he will still be uh, successful. Okay, so um, we can ask. Mm, we'll ask what is he trying to hide uh, and has someone got to him? What is he trying? Well, there's two questions there. Maybe that one will follow the other. What is uh, Manifet trying to hide? What is Manifet trying to hide? Oh, 
Okay, so we've got the circles of support. Okay, I'll just bring the laptop down here. So we have straight away the um, circles of support. Okay, so it's connections between people. Um, connections between people is what he's trying to hide, but the question is who. And then, you know, obviously he's trying to, oh, why there's these women? Okay, so is there a woman involved here that 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 that's what Manifet was was trying to uh, Mula was trying to get here because this is the sword of truth, but it could also be truth about a woman. Woman, and of course, uh, his challenge is the hierophant, uh, which is generally the courts. Um, so to keep someone from going to court. Okay, and of course the future outcome card is a stalemate. Okay, it's a stalemate because he didn't give up the didn't give up the uh, information he was supposed to. My feeling here this this is concerning a woman. Okay, and it's concerning money, money given uh, again, money given to or money changing hands, uh, and to do with a woman. That seems to be the key information that. Um, that Muller was after. Uh, and it also is to do with uh, something that was, okay, the Eight of Pentacles. It's sort of really, um, I mean, this is someone who's really working hard on, on what they're trying to achieve, on, the, on their job, on their craft. So whatever he was hiding, uh, whatever information that he was hiding um, was actually probably probably going back quite some way, okay, so it, it may not have been this, you know, information pertaining to one or two years, it might have been information pertaining to a longer time frame, and it seems to be about a woman, and, you know, his challenge, of course, is the six cups, um, and again, it's, it's, uh, his innocence is on trial, you know, on trial now, and, and because he's pled guilty, well, it's not even on trial, uh, he, he's lost his innocent card now uh, because he pled guilty, and that is the challenge for him. Uh, I think he might have thrown his uh, eggs in the wrong basket here, <laughs> so to speak. Okay, so things being, um, uh, being at a stalemate, this is indeed uh, showing that there have been tricks brought to bear here okay so someone's been working behind the scenes we'll ask we are sort of has someone got to him you know someone's been working behind the scenes to uh, really get this outcome here with Manifet uh, not giving up this information this critical piece of information um, and in the past you know this is the two of rods and as I said it often comes up with um, with you know things pertaining to a travel, uh, not travel, but overseas kind of interest that can sometimes reveal that. Um, but it's also about waiting for results and, and making choices. So it's suggesting here that there was a timing aspect to what he's done, okay? Uh, he was waiting on something to happen. Was he waiting on Matt Whitaker to be installed in the in, as acting DOJ, uh, Attorney General of the DOJ? It seems like Manifet was waiting on something. Um, and the King of uh, Swords, again, um, is, you know, is around this powerful, powerful leader. And I think this could be, when I say powerful leader, it's um, it's quick action um, and strategies. Uh, and it's very much a strong mental, uh, you know, the card of, you know, really razor sharp um, planning. And uh, as I said, that card that says that he was waiting for results, this is almost like it could have been on Trump himself uh, that, that the information was, was relevant to, that King of Swords could be Trump. Um, and the Ten of Cups comes up as his challenge again, uh, and it is around his family and his family's safety. So this is suggesting he's, he's not out of the woods at all. Uh, he's chosen the wrong thing. It's almost like he's chosen the wrong thing. It's almost like this is too stupid for him to do and that that's why I get this feeling that there is more to this than meets the eye. Is this a setup? I, I don't know. I'm just really 
imagining what's possible here. And the Nine of Wands comes forward as the... Uh, the boundaries and the test of courage and persistence. Uh, so if we're if we're looking at um, uh, whether this information will come forward in the future, uh, it, it this is kind of indicating that the stalemate will be broken, and indeed the information will be gained. So um, it's very early days in this unfolding story at the moment. Um, we could find that. Um, yeah, we could find a number of things, really. Um, there are, are a lot of possibilities here. But I'll leave it open to your intuition. Who would this woman be that might go back maybe a decade or so that might be caught up in this information that Manifet, um, Manifet has withheld? So I'll throw that open to you. Now, the big $64 million question, I'll just bring this up here, the big $64 million question is, will Trump pardon Manifet? Is that why he's done this? If indeed he has done it, because as I said, I've just got this nagging feeling that there is more to this than meets the eye. Uh, and simply because Manifet's done something incredibly desperate and stupid, he's already pled guilty to conspiracy. They are, or everyone wants sentencing. Why? Why is that? Okay. Uh, now, surely Mueller has considered Trump might pardon Manafort. So what's going on? Okay, what's really going on here? Um, will Trump pardon Manafort? It's kind of like we're all still di digesting this, really. Um, but the cards provide some indication of what's, what might be going on here at this point in time. One thing is consistent in these readings, Mueller, Mueller wins. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter which reading you go to, he always comes forward as the successful victor. Okay, well, Trump pardon Manifet Trump. I'm getting it that Trump is um, increasingly desperate. Okay, so there's def it's definitely on his mind. Uh, we've got the Ace of Cups here, which is uh, you know a pr new proposal coming forward. So he this again is consistent with the last reading when Manafort had reunited with his cronies. Here she is again in the present. You know, uh, will Trump pardon him? Something around a woman here. Um, she came forward before. She came before before in, in past readings. We we thought she might be Underwood. Uh, right, okay. Now it's kind of making sense. This might be why Mueller gave parts of this investigation to um, state to, to the states, including New York. Okay, and we've got Cohen and we Weisselman, is it? Uh, Trump's former C uh, chief operating uh Chief Financial Officer, sorry, CFO. Um, those those things, I think, were uh, I think involved the New York Attorney General's Department. So this could this while Barbara Underwood is is retired, but or moving on, but has has successfully um, uh, ensured that the Trump Foundation is, goes to trial. Um, those matters. Um, this could actually be her successor. There's something around a woman. And there's also something, uh, uh, the indictments, the sealed indictments are held uh, by, is it Barbara How Howry? Um, How um, I did do a reading on her before. Um, she is the, the, the justice uh, in the DC court. Um, so... Um, I'm just trying to get her name. I won't. Uh, I, I'll, I'll find it later. Uh, you know who I mean. Um, I won't hold anything up. So the challenge here will Trump pardon uh, the Seven of Pentacles? The challenge here for Trump is that um, it's actually uh, too late in the game to do this. Okay, so he's 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 been wanting to do it, but this is uh, this is delayed, kind of delayed results. Um, 
and wait, having to wait for results, and that's his challenge, okay? So it's not going to be as easy as what he thought. Um, and the future card is the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles, again, comes uh, uh, forward when we're, uh, you know, building assets for the future. It's the card of the family here. Um, so uh, will he try and pardon him? I think this is probably saying he will. He will try and pardon him. Um, that's what the cards are indicating. Now, I'll just get some clarity here. He will try and pardon him, will he be? Oh, God. I know. We'll ask what will happen if he does pardon him because I think it, that would be a constitutional crisis then. See, I think it's too late in the game. I think this is why he's been so unnerved since the midterms uh, and these are increasingly desperate desperate measures that he's um, trying to employ. What would happen? He is trying to pardon him. Will he pardon him? And what do we like to see? What would what would happen as a result? Is he trying to pardon him? What would we see if he did? So, sorry, will he pardon him? Not, we, not trying to. We know he is trying, going to try to pardon him. Okay, so um, long-term security, um, what would happen if he pardoned him? That would threaten Trump's uh, longer-term security. So um, so yeah, he may he may very well try, um, but he, he would threaten his presidency if he did so. Here he is as the smug merchant in the present. Um, and his challenge, of course, is uh, is his relationships. I think also uh, trying to protect his family, which is why a one one uh, or trying to protect those that he loves and and his business um, is is actually forcing these desperate moves. And uh, you know, this is the card of disillusion. And I and when I started this, I saw that this was an increasingly desperate Trump that was trying to pull these things off. Um, it's almost delusional to think that he can. So um, he's not going to be successful um, if he does. If he does try, we know why he's trying. But it's the future is saying, in the future it's saying that he's delusional if he thinks he can do that and get away with it. I'll just get some clarity on the Seven of Cups. Will there be a constitutional crisis if he does? No, he's going to be disappointed, okay? If he tries to do that, he's going to be thwarted uh, and he will be disappointed in his increasingly desperate moves um, to try and stop the Mueller investigation from reaching his door. Don't forget those indictments are there in that uh, DC Circuit Court. They're um, sealed. They're waiting to be unsealed. Um, and indeed, the uh, the damage is already there. These, this reading is saying it's too late. It's way too late uh, for Trump now to do anything to stop the Mueller investigation going forward. Uh, although these are increasingly desperate moves that he's making. We'll leave it there, viewers, uh, and I think watch, uh, keep up to, up to date with this. I think this is a story that's far, far from over. In relation to the indictments going forward, potentially uh, with um, uh, uh, Stone, uh, there was no ambiguity there. Ambiguity there. Um, their indictments are coming down. They're sitting waiting to be unsealed and brought forward, and that perhaps is what the next moves are going to be. All right. Thank you.